Hey everybody, thanks for watching the tutorials on the different color modes. Now we're going to start getting into understanding the CMYK color mode. Um, by the way, this is Buddy Blackford, um, and if you've been watching the other tutorials, I guess you would already know that, but let's uh, go on. So the CMYK color mode is a color mode of papers and uh, printing presses. So printing presses convert an image's colors into percentages of CMYK. And CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And if we look at the image here, we see cyan over here on the left, magenta, yellow, and right in the middle is black. And they all combine to create black. So what happens is a printing press um, converts the amount of colors into percent percentages like I just said and those eventually become the color plates on the printing press and one at a time the plates apply color to a sheet of paper and when all four colors have been applied the paper contains an image that um, is similar to the image you created in Photoshop so that's really cool that's um, what Photoshop is all about and stuff like that creating some being able to create images that you can use as in a uh, print as well so that's one of the good things about Photoshop now if you want to check and see if your images in CMYK what you need to do is check either in your channels or up in your image so if we go to channels right now and look we can see that we're still in RGB color space and this is what people mostly uh, get when they import an image is most of the time it comes in and into RGB. If we come up to image and we go to adjust or and we go to mode, we can change that to CMYK. Now, before we do this, real quick, you need to understand that you will lose some of the color saturation during the conversion, and these colors, um, the saturations of them. Um, won't be able to always be uh, printed when you are like if you're expecting all these colors to be uh, printed exactly like they were it's not really gonna happen and you can tell which ones aren't going to uh, work out by uh, coming up here go to the view menu and then we're gonna come here to uh, gamut warning and now you can see things that where the warnings are so all these colors right here are out of the uh, printing press spectrum right now so let's get out of here and click off the gamut warning and we already know what's going on and what's going to happen let's go back and adjust the mode now so that we're in CMYK so it says you're about to convert to CMYK using the prof uh, the certain profile and I'll go over profiles at another time they're kind of confusing but um, there's a whole ton of them but this is fine for now just uh, hit OK so as you can see now, they have been um, the colors over here in the uh, channels have been changed up. So let's look at the colors indiv individually really quick. So here's if we just uh, turn some of these off. Here we have black, and you can see the different shades of black that are on here. Let's go to yellow. So we just want yellow. You can see that there's uh, definitely yellow, and then the different shades of yellow that are created. We go to magenta, obviously the same thing, and then uh, cyan, same things there. So then we start adding to them together, and we get our CMYK colors. Now let's compare these up here. Let's go to our history, and uh, we can see that um, CMYK color was something that we did. It was an action that we did that we can just go back and you can see the difference in saturation and remember the gamut warnings they were mostly over here on these blues and greens and stuff like that check them out when I switch back to CMYK you can see they got desaturated pretty much all the colors got desaturated now if we go let's check out the uh, warning again and you can see I turned it on as you can see by the check mark there just click on it there's nothing that's in the uh, warning area so this pretty much when you have it uh, change to CMYK nothing's gonna show up because you're in the correct color space so I'll turn that off because I don't need it on so if you're wondering what uh, a gamut is it's a 
it refers to the range of colors that a specific device is uh, capable of producing. So there's a bunch of colors that our eyes can pick up, but certain electronic devices and printing presses, they're not able to reproduce all those colors yet. We don't have the technology, I guess, um, in these certain color spaces. So we we have to um, use the uh, gamuts that they're talking about to define our spaces that are going to show up on the different monitors and everything like that. Hopefully that made sense. So hopefully you guys get the uh, gist of the CMYK. Um, they are called subtractive colors because when you add them all together they produce black. Now if you take out all the yellow, all the cyan, and all the pink you're going to get white, pure white in your image. So keep those in mind. That's why it says subtractive up there at the top. And um, I don't think there's anything else I need to go over um, right now for the CMYK. Just remember that it's for paper and for printing press. And to change your um, colors, and I recommend doing it, doing this at the very end when you're about to like save in your final, and it's like your final version of your Photoshop document, then to uh, change to CMYK colors so that way everything um, does it at once and you're not messing around with a whole bunch of different colors and doing it all the time. So that's uh, my little advice I guess and I guess you guys can um, I guess that's the <laughs> I always forget how to end these things but anyways that's it for the tutorial thanks for watching guys and putting up with my terrible endings. Have a good one everybody.